Hey guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to go over the new fade relief tool that was added to CarveCo Maker. I'm going to start by importing a relief. I'm just going to open up my clip art library and bring in banner 6. I'm going to resize it here. Once I bring in my banner, I'm going to add some text to it. I'm going to use my create arcs tool. Just going to write some text here. Carve Co Maker. Move that up a little bit. We'll create that there and just center it. And I'm going to use this text to create some raised text by using my scale relief tool and a selected vector. And if I turn my vectors off, I can see what I'm making. Oh, that'll work. Okay, now when I open up my Fade Relief tool, I get these two white dots. And the Fade Relief tool works by fading the relief between the two white dots. You can move these dots around anywhere on your model to create the two fade points. The closer the dots are together, the stronger the effect they will have. You also can change the strength of that effect by the fade strength bar up here. And using this, we can create different fading effects to the model. You also can switch the direction of the fade by reversing the direction. You also have a radial option. The radial option just gives you one single dot, and that would be the center point, and it's going to create a radial fade from that spot. The last option you have is between boundaries. The way the between boundaries tool works, it allows you to select a vector as a boundary, and then everything from that spot will be faded. If I pick the R, in Maker. It will become my central spot that everything from there will be faded. If I were to pick the C in the middle, then everything on both sides is being faded. If I pick the C at the end, everything from that end will be faded. This allows you to pick different points to be faded using vectors inside of your design. Another way to use vectors in your design as a mask is when you have the linear fade relief tool selected, only what's inside of the vectors are affected. And so if I change my two fade points, I can affect just the lettering. And this is a great way to give effects to your design where you're only affecting the parts that you want to affect. So in this example, only my text is being faded. And I could create some pretty interesting design faded text. And that's the power of the fade relief tool. Guys, I hope this tip has helped. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with someone. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Thanks, guys. We'll see you on the next one.